Hello and welcome to SnowRunner News. I'm UK Gamer 8 and I keep you updated with the latest SnowRunner goings on in the SnowRunner community. Now I run a no BS approach, tell you how it is, and I don't milk the watch time. So let's get on with it. What's going on today? Well, before console mods were released, we had 5,000, 5, 000, 5 000 downloads on mods IO for SnowRunner. That figure now is nearly currently doubled. We're up to 10 million. 600,000 and a little bit more and so that's over just the net last what week and a half it'd be Tuesday that console mods will be out for two weeks which is uh, pretty amazing and you see some of the subscribe numbers are pretty big let's go and have a quick look so we have no change to the console mods browser at the moment it's as it is that's on updated and then if we go on to popular overall at the moment you can see the numbers are getting pretty big we got 137,000 on the ix wrecker for subscribes and then the crawler is 130,000 heavy wrecker 133,000 and it's 86 76 is all pretty big numbers getting a huge amount of downloads on all these mods and we've only got 71 mods currently in the list so hopefully we'll get some more on them next week uh, my cream currently I've got quite a few mods it's about 18 overall and I've got 2133 MBs left and I find that I have added down to about 800 um, 0.800 and it has been all okay it is you've just got to watch certain mods just aren't, aren't very stable at the moment as using mods is going to be a little bit risky for the foreseeable future until we get a fix for it anyway now we had the not enough memory bug which came up for a lot of us came up for me when first started the game with console mods and it was reinstalling that would sort the problem out now I've had quite a few people saying that they've already reinstalled and this keeps coming back up all the time so the devs are aware of this and this will be in the next update which we're not sure when we're going to get that they're talking about early January at the moment but the only way to fix that is to just reinstall the whole game again which you'll keep your save game it's just reinstall the game again and that should fix that but i spoke to a few people where they've had it happen to them sort of four or five times now but that is a known bug and there will be a fix for it as soon as we get an update but like i said they're saying early january due to holidays at the moment so it could be the start of january or it could be a week or two into it but bear in mind so any problems you've got with your game at the moment it can be re rectified sorted with yourself really because it's, a lot of it is down to not using too many mods at the same time until you know ones what are working okay for your game and then the other thing like the, well the best thing is to for using mods is to go into the proven grounds it's quick and easy just to jump into the proven grounds and go and have a look at a mod and drive it around and if you're happy with it then bring it into your game then if you bring it into your game and it's proven you're having problems in your game you know it's down to that mod so it's a little bit of trial and error but i haven't had that much of an issue with mods crashing but i haven't been using that many too for too long and jumping in and out of games and that sort of thing because i think it it well it's all going to be it's all going to be unstable until all these mods get sorted and the game's running all right it's all up optimized so everything's running hunky dory and then it will be fantastic and really well now the next thing is the, the memory situation they're going to get us get that fixed because at the moment we've got four gigabyte and we need 10 times even more than that really i think because it's uh, with the maps well the other thing the save points it'd be nice to have a few more save points and then you can actually have a few more maps playing those maps whereas at the moment you can only you've only got four different save slots so you can only play four different maps really and uh, it'd be nice to have a bit more but there you go that might come in time but hopefully it's the more memory situation because there's a lot of people who are already trying to download too many mods at once and then wonder why the game crashes i get it in the comments every day where it's like why is my game crashing half the time it is just too many mods at once it's where they're forgetting it is testing we are testing all these mods they haven't been used on the public and the public well the amount of downloads we're talking over five million so that's a lot of different mods it really is so there you go now early jan is going to be the next time for the next update so any time before there if you're having issues with the game just most of the time just uninstall all the mods and then add them one by one and then you shouldn't have such issues and don't try and use too many at the same time so that's a lot for today's snowrunner news i hope you've enjoyed this episode and if you did 
I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.